okay guys so first thing is to pick up soft brush now um this is not a software or app specific tutorial so i'm gonna be mentioning brushes you can use on ibis paint and also autodesk sketchbook so just follow the same um, process that i'm showing you guys here just use the brushes if you are uh, doing it on ibis paint or sketchbook or the sketchbook so the first step is obviously to create these little strands so what i did is i first went ahead with larger sized brush not too large and i really gently started creating these curly hair strands and then what i did is i decreased the size of the brush and now this time around i was putting more pressure onto the screen to get more pigmentation out of the brush or of the color and i started adding curly hair strands again over the lighter one so this is the first step now once you have that once you're happy with that you want to create a new layer underneath that and i'm again going to be using airbrush actually i used soft airbrush throughout the video so i decreased the opacity and i filled any spaces between the hair strands so that's what you want to do i'm using the same color i did not change the color by the way so yeah that is the second step now once you have that what you want to do again i'm using the same brush and i decreased the size of the brush and i made it really really small and i picked up really light color of the hair color that i was using or you can just use white color but if you are painting some darker shade of um hair then uh, make sure you're not using white color then it that is going to be just too much and i just started adding more curly hair strands over what i already created so that's what you want to do again um just use the brush if you're using ibis paint or sketchbook just use a brush that i mentioned um in the start of this video and once you have that once you're happy with the curly hair strands that you do pick up your blending tool again for the blending tool as well i'm using soft air brush so the goal here is not to completely smudge everything out just make sure you are focusing on blending the front parts in the in parts of those hair strands and also the middle part but just a little bit so once you're happy again i'm gonna create another layer I'm gonna use the same brush but this time around i increased the size of the brush a little bit so this time around we are going to be adding thicker curly hair strands over what we already created so that's what i am doing here so you don't have to worry about being perfect because we are going to be blending this out as well but yeah that is the next step also make sure you are doing everything in separate layers that's gonna be really really helpful later if you mess anything up so yeah once you are happy with that so i actually did blend it uh, if you did not if you guys did not see that i fast forwarded the clip now here what i'm doing is i am adding highlight now again you can use soft airbrush or what uh, what i am using right here is luminance brush I'm just going to mention the name of the brush somewhere on the screen and I'm using that with that lighter color and I'm adding highlights really lightly so you don't need to use that brush you can use um, airbrush because honestly it worked as if I was using a soft airbrush so that's what I'm doing here really lightly make sure when you're adding highlights you are doing it in a way where you are like creating this hair stroke kind of um, shape while adding the highlight and the reason why i go light-handed in the initial go is because i just don't want to go ahead and blend everything out later now an, on another layer what you want to do pick up soft airbrush pick up your base hair color and just darken that color up a little bit and start adding even darker hair strands right underneath the first layer that we created the very first step that we did just right underneath that you want to add these darker colored hair strands and also they're going to look a little harsh so what you want to do is you want to go back and pick up your blending tool smudge tool or whatever you your software or app has and just blend it out just to make it look much subtle 
so that's what I did right here and the another step is to create another layer right at the bottom of every other layer that you have created and decrease the size of the brush and now we are going to add hair strands around the edges of this hair chunk and so they're just going to act as flyaways or baby hair i don't know what you call them but yeah you know it just makes the whole hair look a lot more realistic so you cannot miss this step so again pick the base color that you chose for the hairstyle or the hair chunk that you're painting and then add it around the edges of that hair chunk and uh, it should be really easy and if um, the brush is not the brush stroke is not coming smooth make sure to increase streamline stabilization or whatever your app or software has to stabilize the brush so that's pretty much it but i what i did in the end is i went back to the layer where i created highlights and picked up my soft air brush i suppose and then i picked up the same color i used to create the highlights and i started adding these little dots over the highlights just to make them look a lot more I don't know just to make the whole hair chunk look a lot more glossy and glowy so you don't have to do that if you don't want to but i kind of like to do that so yeah that's how you create curly hair um and i really hope you guys enjoyed give this a try tag me on instagram subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you guys in my next one